Go on, Terry. Over to you then, Tell. I'll let people in as they come. Yeah, no worries, bud. Just letting it in. All right, buddy. Um, first, I'm going to tell you one of my little favourites. Um, it's a, a nymph for his, but it's on a, a clink amarok. I just like the shape of it. It's the ends, clink amarok. It's, I just like that uh, the curve to it, especially when you add legs to it. So, am I, I all right to start, guys? Yeah, you carry on, Terry. Oh, awesome. So I'm on tying with the hens, Clink Amarok, and I dropped the box. Where is it? I can't find it. Ah, there you are. I got it. Ah. 12? Is it? Ah? 14. Yeah, this is a 14, but they're quite, they're quite large. Um, it's, a, it's one of my favorite. This is a searcher pattern, is. I normally fish it on the point. And... Some of them got legs, some of them, um, but I'll put some uh, little legs in with this one. But it, it's it's a simple pattern, and it works. And with competitions, I'd rather have something really simple and lose it instead of sitting there for hours tying uh, immaculate flies. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm a scruffy tie, I'm, and that's how I like it. <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> so I'm using um, UTC seventeen, seventeen oh yeah. UTC 70, you know. So, and then I'll tie in for the tail. I can use the, the centipede legs, the nymphid legs, but I like. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, I, I like, um, oh, the mallard. I, 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 it's just, it's strong. It's cheaper than Cock de Leon, and and it's quite playable, and it and it lasts like I just like the so I'm gonna tie that in the tail. Let's just put it short, and then just come up body, cut that off, and then for the for the rib is was it hens uh, medium gold wire. You get that, is that better? Yeah. And that's the, the rib for the body. Check it out. It's quite weird uh, to do this. You know, I've done videos on Facebook and things, but I, <laughs> this is weird to tell you, I guess. <laughs> I was watching the one you're doing this afternoon. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. I enjoy it. It's just, I, I've been out of it for a while. Um, the last time I've Really tight. Well, I've tied a few boxes up the last two, uh, just before holidays. Um, and I've just got back into it because the international now in June, I believe. Um, I haven't done much fishing. I uh, lost a really good close friend of mine um, to uh, suddenly passed away. So it kind of knocked my fishing a bit. But at, at the moment now, I'm just tying um, the body in. And now that is, it's the trout line hybrid squirrel, the, the black pepper. It's re I, I highly recommend this stuff. It's really, it's really soft, nice and spiky, nice body, and it's dark. And uh, it's kind of when it was wet, it, it looks really inviting. <laughs> so I'm just ribbing in now with the gold wire, quite close together. So I'll tie that off just in line with the point. Snap that off. Everyone see it? Yeah. And then pheasant tail for the wing case. It's a normal, well, uh, natural this is. Quite a clump. What I'm doing is I'm going to just cut, cut it off a little bit so I can get it. This is a wing case. Just and that's going to come right back. Just in line with the point. It's a wing case. And so for the, for the thorax, I either go with a 46. Um, th this is Spectre Dubbin uh, from Sal Sandorini, or 
I, I tie them in two different. Uh, there's um, the lighter and a darker thorax. Um, as all accordance, if if a light or and it's dark, I I just mix it up. Sometimes they 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 prefer the darker one or the lighter one at the time. It's just um, it's just your own preference, really. I like dark flies. So what I'm doing now is just gonna cut some of these. Uh, I think it, are these are these centipede legs, guys? Yeah, I think it's, yeah. It's like um, tan. silly legs, don't they? Yeah, silly legs. Yeah, yeah. It's like a kind of tan color with a black in it. Let's cut that off. So I'm gonna just tie, tie this in, but I know this is the first set of legs. Cut that off. Come back around then. Because I got the camera so close to the thing, I can't. I, I have to. I can't uh, turn the vice right around. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all. It's all a learning mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> e evening, guys. Hope everybody's okay. All right, guys. Hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just for the body now it'll be uh, the what's it shimmer the peacock bronze uh, fish on John Tyzak stuff everyone was there like the old 45 <laughs> <laughs> you there guys yeah fine yeah yeah, yeah. he's He's still picking his boobies up, is he? <laughs> no, I'll stop picking them up. <laughs> I'll apologise down in case I fall asleep. I'm knackered. Quite often I fall asleep. Ah, oh, no worries, but it's okay. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting the legs out now. And just pulling over the wing case, the pheasant tail. Pull the legs back. Coffee. Coffee. Yes, please. Who's <laughs> waiting in mind? <laughs> Making sure the wing case is in tidy. Pulling that tight. How much do you think this pattern's down to the silly legs? Um, the pat what pattern, sorry? Uh, what makes it really effective? Is it the silly legs? Um, I just think it's just the, sh the shape and the color, color of it. And um, with the silly legs, it just gives you a little bit more movement when you're fishing on a single fly. It's it's a searching it's a searching pattern is for me. So I'm fishing, you know, in the sh shallow water, you know, a foot water, but fast and poply. I kind of like with a French leader. I'm I'm on what like a four four foot into the indicator, fishing a distance, and it's just a quick, you know searching method and it, and it works it's a great fly and um i've used their you know sight fishing for trout big trout and they move along they will move a long way to come and eat this or there's something in it you know yeah no i i, I try a buzzer with silly legs on the head all ah, right and the difference it makes some days is unbelievable just the movement it gives it yeah yeah recording yeah. in progress Especially when you're fishing in and you're you're shaking the tip, and it it, it does make it does make a big difference. Just tying that off. This is what fishing shows you. If any of you guys have got any questions, unmute yourselves and, and ask Terry and then mute yourselves again, please. No, no questions. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> yeah, I've got one. Terry, sorry to disturb you. Pete Hiley here. Hi, um, are you right? Hello, mate. Good mate. I like still waters. Yeah. Start off at 10, no conferring. Top three flies for your still water. Still water. Ooh. Um, 
a chamois <laughs> under a bun, <laughs> um, a, a damsel, and um, I like I like woolly buggers. I do like for the same things that I use in the river. Okay. Like, like. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, yeah, no worries, bud. Cheers, bud. Well, that's the one fly, guys. Very tasty. Yeah, it's just it's, it's a you, lot of movement. Uh, uh, what would you call it, Terry? I just uh, like a stone clinger, or you know, a, it, it it just uh, for like brook downs, March browns, um, storm flies. It's like a mixture of everything. And uh, the flies, I normally the flies I tie, are, are, you know, are quite. Like my dries are the same. I'll tie certain, like we were talking about, I'll tie certain dries to cover an old range, you know, just size difference, you know, from 16, 16 18, 16s, 14s, 12s, but basically the same pattern. So I, I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not filling my box up with, you know, copious and a lot of flies. Um, my dry fly box is just, there's not a many, not many flies there, but it's enough for what I need to, Need like, but yeah, this, 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 I like a yeah, stiff. I, I, Dave Downey, um, ties one, it's a lot bigger than that. Um, one of the boys gave me one a long time ago from the international, and um, it seemed to pick up the big fly, you seem to pick up the bigger fish, you weren't catching many small fish with, with it. Um, and uh, it was uh. An eye opener. <laughs> so, um, any questions, guys, or about the fly, or you can see it all right? Nice fly. Yeah, very nice. It looks very buggy. Terry, yeah. this, Terry, it's John here. Um, Hi, uh, what what size hook is it, please? Sorry, I missed the beginning. What size uh, hook? What type of hook? It's a hen's um, clink hammer hook. Hen's and clink that, hammer. Okay. Yeah, that's a size 14, that is. 14. Okay, thank you very much. And would you fish that on still waters or as Pete was asking earlier, or um, is you it? Could, you could use it as a stalking bag, probably. Yeah. Uh, walk the edges and see him fish, and I'm, I'm sure they'll take you. Okay, sure. thank you. Thank you. Ta. All right. So that's the one. Um, I'll tie. I'm going to tell you a jig now, uh, another pattern, generic pattern. Um, this is with a panic big wave, size 14. Nice hooks. Yeah, great. They've stopped, uh, 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 Frank, they stopped the line of it, their hooks. Um, I, I'm not sure if it is, is this jig wave hook. All right. Or jig classic. I don't know why, but I don't seem to. There's all a new range of hooks, but I don't seem to see these anymore. I don't think. I think it's just the it's the, the G Classic. Yeah, I've but, got a load of those. I'm also using a load of the um, Fasner hooks as well. They're quite almost yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I like the I like the Fasner hooks. They're um, where you can put a, a large bead on, like the F four one fives. Yeah, you could put a large bean, uh, like tying perdigons and stuff. Um, uh, let me see. I'm gonna stop tying for a second. I could show you uh, a, one of my nymphs box if anyone would like to see it. I'd like to show it. these. This is this is a box I've been tying recently, um, and is can you see it, guys? Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, with the Faz, uh, Fasna, uh, with a big bead. Um, yeah, they're good hooks. I, I, I love fully mill hooks and I, I love the uh, Anak. Anak is my favorite, the fully yeah. mill Fasna. But ev everyone got their preference and they, because one hook might make it look a little, uh, that pattern look a little bit better, you know, especially on a short shank or uh, on a big curve. So you get the good hook up ratio. But um, this is a, another little pattern I like to, to use. Um, so this is on the, uh, let me see, the Jig Classic size 14, the H400BL. 
and then I've got a 3.5 mil bead on it, a copper, um, either copper or black, um, I prefer. So I'm gonna just, this will have an olive body, uh, Fred is sent, you know, uh, UTC. Um, See when and I the, see you. Lovely. You've got those business cards. Yes. And I'll, I'll come. So the tail end is Malad Cut the excess off with with a rib. Um, I'm going to use no wire. I'm going to use the Semperfly Flor Flor Bright Pale Green. This is um, it really stands out, and I'm going to tie it with an olive body. We got what are we do yeah. Bear with me, guys. Um, this is a trout line pure squirrel dubbin. Uh, it's Cadis Green. So it's like two greens. And this, this imitates quite a lot of things, um, especially where, where the granum and things are on. And uh, hey, it's happening, Rob, right, bud? All right, mate. How are you? Uh, how's it going? What are you tired, bud? <laughs> it's time to emerge. Oh, for, 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 uh, for the weekend? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Some hungry trout waiting for them. Oh, yeah. I, I hope so. I, well, we've got, um, they said we can have rain today, tomorrow, I think. Yeah, seventy percent chance down south. Oh no! <laughs> From ten o'clock, we're gonna get it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not, not too bad. I'll I'll show you a remedy for um, if a river's a bit nasty. Uh, there we are. Look, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll talk about. <laughs> Was that what you were talking about earlier, Brett? What was that's that? My, that's my favourite dry, that as well, Ted. Yeah, yeah. It, it, takes, it takes a fair bit to dry it. <laughs> so, it's just olive, it's a really thick. Oh, yeah, bugger. It's a scruffy fly, but it, it, it does a job. All set for. Um, See you there, all right, guys? I like okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Well, with this uh, flow bright pale green, um, yeah, kind of unravels. So you just got to ravel it back up, and then just rib it. But I love how it stands out. And then you brush, you brush the the brush it out again. Then I make it all nice and uh, buggy when it's wet and looks really nice. Oh, pay there for a second. I got a magic brush here somewhere. eBay. <laughs> and then same thing, and I've got Shimmer Dub Peacock Bronze. Same thing. A bit darker as the thorax. You can make it a little bit better, you know, not a little bit better, but you can put a partridge ackle in it or C CDC ackle in it. But it works with it, without it. So it's a simple, simple little olive pattern. It's a jig, point fly, or dropper, whatever you want to do it, put on it. So I got that one. Um, anyone, anyone want, want me to say anything or anything on a jig or uh, any patterns? Um, anything? <coughs> you tell you what are you happy with, mate? Yeah. Size thirty meg, please. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll get one now. Two seconds. I'm going to show you my midge pattern. No. Don't laugh, mind right. This. This is Dale Parsons midge. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, <laughs> it's that size that's tied on size 18 and made out of elastic. <laughs> <laughs> You get arrested fishing that. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I do it using the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but no one can see me. <laughs> so it's a sea trout pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, I got um, downstairs, I got my Norway box. And I got like um, six, 700 gram um, perks, uh, like our big rubber things. Bloody hell. I, I, uh, I'm like, oh, Oh, two seconds. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't actually use sea trout flies at night, Derek. I actually use them. You map. You use yeah. maps. You spinners and flying condoms, don't you? Yeah, repellers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On a size sixteen, uh, eighteen, or twenty-two midge repeller. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've got. I've done two flies for them, there, guys. But at any moment, any any patterns? Anyone wants to see tide or? Yeah, I'd love to see you tie an olive damsel in your style, please. Of olive damsel, right. I'm going to have to get the yucks out. <laughs> right, I oh, got I'm going to say, sorry, I don't do that one. No, no, I could, I, I could do it, but it'll just take me a little second. Uh, Pete, does, Pete does like his damsels, don't you, Pete? Right. I must admit, I think they're one of the best flies early season. The only thing is, I haven't got, my, I haven't got olive marabou. That's the only problem, guys. Okay, whatever colour damsel you fancy, then. Right, okay. And neon blue? That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. He's on here, good on there now. Here we go. What we got here? Yeah. Bigger so I got. Don't laugh, it's not funny. <laughs> Rob, what would you type that? I put on a size one oh I would. Oh, that's as big as hooks I, I use, look. And yeah. that's a that's a GMC size ten. Yeah, be all right. That, that's about yeah. it in size ten. Yeah. Um thing is, I do not know if I've got any marble here. And it's not gonna look good, is it? Pete's awkward, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm Sorry. And okay, tie whatever you like then, Terry. Right, I'll, I'll, tie, I'll, I'll tie a non-damsel fly. That sounds good. Yeah. 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 A non-damsel. <laughs> woolly bugger. A woolly bugger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, or else, yeah. Right. You, should, you shouldn't have asked, Terry. I know. I yes. know. I, Big I mistake. <laughs> I'm a river man, I am. Um, no. But I, I, I got a small selection of, um, uh, like, for the small waters and stuff. But I normally walk around the pond and uh, steal them off other people. <laughs> or out of the trees. Um, right, guys. You, you must have a fly called a Terry's Terror, though, haven't you, eh? Uh, yeah, I got that. They call it a stalk. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> uh, that I'll tell you. I'll show you Terry's tail. I know. Oh, oh yeah. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a damsel for you. Look, there's a damsel. It's a dark damsel. Look, lovely. There we are. Look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a azure damsel. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'll do. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, that was one I kept in the bag. But uh, yeah, some really nasty stuff, big stuff. There. Um, but they catch fish, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Especially well, well, when the river's up, I guess you just figure it right slow after you fish through quietly, and you know you mm -hmm. nine times up to ten, you catch another couple of trout after that. So, but um, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, should I tie, tie the emerger dry now? Mm -hmm. uh, not the emerger. It's a, it's a pheasant tail uh, emerger, it is. And um, I tie this from an 18, 16, um, and a 14 and 12. But this is on the 
they are on the uh, Hanak. Because uh, I, I, I was looking for damsel stuff, I've moved all my stuff now and I can't find, find the, the hooks. But this, this is on a Hanak uh, Pengamarok. This, this is a size 12. You can't see it there. But it, this is this is a, like um, a search. It's a really good uh, gray, gray lane dry fly. Is, uh, it brings them up and trout for large dark olives. You know, the little, your, your pale waters, your, your um, uh, blueing olives for the river. And I've used this on a small water, so, and it works. <laughs> so I'm going to tie that. So I'm on a size 12 uh, and a clink armor hook. That's Fred is sent me know. I'll just tie this in. It looks like quite a heavy iron, Terry. This? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's quite it's quite soft. And it's yeah. quite I'm trying to if I um what is I moved all my stuff and hopped for my packet. Well it's the anarch. Where the hell did I go? I gotta find the box, uh, box you know. Ah, there we are. Look, hang on. It's the. Oh, it's a clink cam. Yeah. 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 The H three ninety BL size twelve. It's quite a thin, thin metal, but it's they are strong. Yeah. And it's a big hook. It's a size twelve as well. So, um. This pattern is a is a great pattern. Um, it's great for Rob will probably might have seen it uh, on the D uh, for the grey It's a good searching pattern as well, yeah. uh, especially in the start of the hatches. Yeah, and uh, only a few materials to it. It's it's, yeah. it's so simple. And then a three pound mono rib. Let's just tie this in. You come oh, right down. Always gives a nice profile as well, doesn't it? That uh, flint camera hook, then a nice curve in it, and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, like, um... For most emerger patterns, and you know, clink obviously clink cameras, but you know, for emerger patterns, you can't beat them really because they hang just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and this this is this pattern uh, works well on the small waters because when the olives when they're coming up, they, yeah. they just they muller and they do really like. And uh, on the river, it's the same thing. When we go when we go out on um, Saturday, you know, I'll have a size fourteen one of these on us all, yeah. and then if there's a few brook then starting to come off. Um, oh, I think I know it, I know which one you're tying now. I think. Yeah, it's it's an amazing pattern. It's a friend of mine, um, Ron Jones, yeah. uh, he gave me the pattern of like, years ago. I probably and, just I probably just tied one myself. I don't know. Did that's the one, but yeah. I don't know if you could see it's blurry, like, but yeah, I can't. I can't use the. Um, I can't use the the rotary because the camera's so close. Yeah, I'll just have to do it like this. This is a pheasant dead body. Have you found a new voice yet? I knew you were looking. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the guys are sending me a storm stormfly. Is it? So, um, I um, and uh, all is brand new in a box, so I'm gonna just tie him a load of flies for it. Yeah, it's really nice of him, you know. Is it the um, transformer one, Ted? Oh, you don't know? Uh, no, it's um, oh, it's on my phone now. Um, is it no, a few not... models, yeah. Um, oh, is it like three or four sets of jaws? Whether it is, yeah, that'll be the one then, the transformer. The same, one as I, same one as I've got here. Is it? Uh, this is just a mono ribbis, guys. I use the stone flow, it's a cracking vice. Yeah, for the man, you, you can't beat it, can you, Derek? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, one of, it's just one of them good, it's a bargain, really. You know, as, as far as vices go these days, you know, it does yeah. the job. Um, especially if you if you want for tying different uh, different flies, it's caters for everything really. Streamers, <laughs> tubes, tube flies, midges. Yeah. You've gone out of focus, Terry. Oh, sorry, buddy. 
No, it, it, it'll that's come it, back at him when he puts his finger on it. Sorry, guys. Is that better? Yeah, 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 brilliant. Sorry, guys. So, I, with this, though, I've got a pheasant tail body, a three pound mono ribbed right through it, and then a, a blue down hat, a blue down hat, well, hackle. And that's about right. And uh, I'll tie this in. Not tight turns, but just near enough. This is the one you showed me yesterday, Terry. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a brilliant pattern. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> it's, a, it's so simple, and you can just whittle them off, you know, when you get right into it. It's just like kind of palmery, really. And then just run the, run the thread through it. Make sure it's tight, tight in it. Uh, snap them off. Make sure it's all up. You can, like, um, you can either pull it up and use a thread to pull it uh, uh, underneath and pull all the fibers up. But I just, I just cut them off. So it sits, it sits in the film. Uh, I suppose that gives a really nice footprint as well, doesn't it? Of a, you know, an yeah. Emerging. So what, what I, what I tend to do is I'll just pull them flat, pull them up, and then I'll catch it. Two seconds. Jesus, Laura, I dropped it. So the underneath. Uh, the underneath there, I'll just cut off, and then it just sits in a film, and uh, strings. There we are. So I'll show you now when get when it's on the. You can, so basically, cut all the ackle off the top, so it just spreads out to each side. You see, you guys. Yeah. It's so simple, but it's just really effective. Yeah. And that, I'll tell you that from an 18, 16, 14 to a 12. Um, and it's simple. It's so simple. And it, 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 it imitates everything, really. Anything trapped in a film or um, emerging. And, uh, that's what I'll have on tomorrow, size 14 one, though. Yeah. You don't mind losing them up a tree if, if, if they're quick to tie? No, no, especially, especially um, in, like, competitions and things. You know, you, you you crack off, or you stack, you just snap it off, put another one on, and you take it. You can fill your box in, it, you know, in an hour or two, tie them. And that's what I tend to do. I just tie simple patterns, really, that... I don't mind throwing away, especially especially your comps, isn't it? Because you, it, it's all about timing and you know and keeping your time. So, um, um, like there's three patterns by I know that are in my box, and they wouldn't be, they, you know, they've they've stood the test of time for me, you know. And uh, it's one of my favorites. Simple, <laughs> like me, simple. <laughs> but um, uh, let me see. I got I got other boxes there. Um, we got little purdies and stuff. You see them, guys? Purdigans. Yeah, just size eighteens and sixteens. And then this is another style that I tie of the with the legs. This is a smaller fly. Well, that's handy. Spicy. Yeah. What's the body of that, Mato? That is made out of that. That is thick, thick um, wire. I'll show you sure. how to Is make one if you want, Terry. But on. You can knock one up if you want. Yeah, yeah. Go on, two seconds. Yeah. So same thing. I'm just going to get the wire. It's the the pan ultra UT. Thick wire, so it, it kind of um, is a really oh, nice. Really. Uh, I'll show you now. I'll tell you on this uh, jig wave. 
that's your classic. Sorry, same thing, and it and the wire adds a little bit of weight as well. Um, I, I two flies, but uh, I do like fishing one fly, you know, most of the time. What size uh, is the one you showed us? I don't, this one is, is a 16. This is oh, okay. I'm just gonna, tie, I'm gonna tie it on a bigger hook so you can yeah, see a little yeah, bit yeah. better. No, he looks yeah, but this. Yeah, this is a um, this is a sixteen is, oh. and that is tied on. I think that's on a sixteen short. Um, yeah, wait a minute. Let me look at. Yeah, that's on a that's on a jig classic size sixteen. Same oh, okay. Same yeah. Yeah. Anna. So same thing. Just tie. Are you fishing mainly um, like jet nymphin type style? Are you? Uh, French French leader um, at, at distance. Everything that for me is distance. I fish in uh, well, like a daiki or dai. I can never pronounce a bloody name or a, or a hen's camo leader. You know the name. Uh, camo intermediate. I use it and pardon? the camo intermediate. Uh, no, no, no. Just ca just a camo. It's just um, it's mono. It is. It's just a mo uh, an Camouflage, and it's, it's like a big tape. That's the same as Lewis, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's got the, I think, world and the international rules are different. So you've got to have like twice as lot length of your rod. And he was in a mon or a cam. Um, and I've got like a 15 metre daihiki or daihiki, any really thin. And I, I just fish it. As far as I can away from a river, keep it my feet out to it. The patterns are great. Search it. I'm just snapping a tan. I'm just. <coughs> Pictures froze. Oh no, it's back again. Good. So you can see the CF segment. So it. it they're touching turns, yeah. Yeah, just off it is. So the back thread. I oh, see, so yeah, yeah. It gives more of a second. Just, 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 just off it. Yeah, so, come yeah. To the place. I think it was a little bit thicker. This is so. This, this is the. Uh, I'm not, it, it doesn't say the size, but it's, it's then uh, it doesn't say the size on it. BR tan UTC. So, but uh, same thing with the wing case, the pheasant tail, or you can use, you know, um, or, you know, the bug bug back or whatever, shrink tube or whatever. Cutting the cutting off. I think silly leg, the silly legs or caterpillar legs. They give such a lot of movement, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I think when when you're fishing and like uh, the taff where I where was the house here is. There's a lot of angler pressure, and and uh, such a difference. A lot of people at uh, double nymphing near all day, you know. Even the colour change sometimes makes a difference. Size go smaller, smaller, and then the flies that actually with a bit of movement in it can. You know, your catch rate goes up. And in, in any internationals, you always look for that, that one fly, um, you know, something that they haven't seen before. So yeah. this is uh, this is code 46 Spectra. I use the 45 or the or, and just put it in between the leg, these legs and uh, just a fat little body. Pull the pheasant tail over. 
for the wind case. It's not got in. Which has to come up. Cut that off. Uh, with the latches. Um, just another little bit of uh, spectra in front to help the legs come back. So we are tying this so close to the camera. Just pull the legs back. Not natural, is it? No, it's strange. It's, uh, yeah. I'm not going to tie in and watch it. Cut them a little bit shorter. There we are, guys. That's our flight. Just tidy in a bigger in the on the 14 or the 16, so you can just see it a little bit better on the camera. You can leave the legs really long, you can get them draping right back. Um, and it gives our pulsing feel uh, when you when you jig in it, fish it, um, and then you speed it up a little bit, or you just a little draw so that it is, is, there a, is there a name for that, Terry? I can't say the word out. What? <laughs> the teacher. I can't think of the bloody word. Just buggy, buggy with movement, with lots of movement in it. Yeah. You can, like you have also tie it. You can use this as well for the tails. And you can make them really long, um, but it, it works. I hope I'm doing all right, guys. <laughs> you do, you're doing fine. The only problem problem is the, the broadband. It is, keeps, it, is keeps it? breaking up. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, my broadband's really good, so it must be something. Uh, yeah, I got flat. Uh, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, everything's good. good. Sorry, what guys. It, what it could be, because it's coming to me and then going back out again, it could be my broadband. Right, okay. It's fell. Yeah, I can see. Oh, no, yeah. Say again, Terry. Still not that, that's the. <laughs> Keeps freezing. I was. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Full internet. Strange. Wow. It oh. could be. It could be at my end if it's coming coming through, going yeah. onto my hard drive, and then the hard drive going back out again to all the guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I got full internet and uh, Wi-Fi. Sorry, guys, if you didn't see it, that's the that's the three flies I tied, the M3, and the dry is there somewhere. What what was the Sh name of the last one, Terry? Are they just stone stone stone, uh, stone Yeah, just little stone flies, you know, the little stone clingers. They nymphs, they are olive nymphs, you know. They just fish yeah, they they just work. They work. Um, have a look. My uh, fly fly box. <laughs> spiders, like if people mm -hmm. think I don't have spiders, I fish spiders. I do fish them. <laughs> I'm trying to look. Oh. Yes, there we are. These um, these are the size smaller ones that I tie the 14s that's like that little emerger isn't it yeah it's yeah because I, I couldn't find the one I just put it on but the I tie these in 18s 16s and 14s and, and and just like half a dozen in size 12s for the March Browns or Brooklyn's they just the genetic pattern it just works for everything really um, 
and that's me really. I uh, got the other side. These are the size 18s. That one. <laughs> that one. That one's a lie. It's uh, too many That's a good one, Terry. It's flown off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These, these ones, I haven't cut the underneath off because uh, sometimes uh, with the with the tackle on underneath when it's so small, keep they'll keep them up higher in the in the tub. And sometimes and then when you're mending any, it don't it don't it kind of don't disturb you so much, you know. When you're fishing really fine tippets. So it's not it's not like causing a lot of the surface, so it looks a little bit more natural. The bigger they are, then I cut the underneath off so it sits in and uh, it works. I don't know. Um, that's the ties. I tied a few. Um, I a small uh, next time off pick in front of everybody. Is that me, Rob? Right, bad? Yeah, all good, mate. I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm glad, but I'm a, I get a little bit nervous. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've. But <laughs> like it's a bit different when you're talking on 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 the phone and then until in person, isn't it? Yeah. Who is uh, your favourite spider then, Terry? Oh, favourite spider. My favourite spider is the one that caught me that that big brown on the on the dawn. Is that on a spider? Is it? Eh? Yeah, it was on the drop. Uh, yeah. Can you tell one for us, Terry? I could, yes, I could. And it's you're gonna you're gonna laugh, it's so simple. It is that. Oh, really? it's, it's nothing. It's got a pearl body, black rib, and a partridge acro. That's all it is. Oh, it looks different now you brushed it forward though. Yeah. Well, that that big fish thought it was tasty anyway, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, um two seconds. I'll, just, I'll, I'll turn the camera on and show you the camera. There he is, look. Wow. Well, 73.3 centimetres. <laughs> What's he weigh? Uh, they, they said between like 12, something, I think it was. Wow. Well, and he that took that little spider. Yeah, well, it, what, what was happening was um, there's a, it was under a bridge, so it was really bright sun, and um, it was my first session or second session in, in the comp, and um, there was all thick weed. It was probably three, four foot deep, um, and rafts of weed like a chalk stream. So I put a I put a thread fly on a on a point and a, and um, that spider on a dropper, and because there was a lot of small fish around, I was like fishing it. Traditionally, like a French leader or chicken and fin, and, yeah. the, and then let it swing and jigging it and pulling it. And I was catching trout like a, but um, I fished it out, and there was like a slack on the far side, just in the dark. And I could see the weed was coming up, so I was fishing the channels. Yeah, yeah. So I threw the bug in, and it struck. I was like, oh, I'm but next it's thing, this, it just started like walk towards me, basically. Okay. Come towards me, and the rod was bent over, and I was like, and I said to the I said, yeah, this, that trout was above my head out of water. And I, I was on uh, 2.7 uh, fluorocarbon, our neckline, <laughs> and I uh, 10. 2.7? You were lucky to land that then. And in about minutes, but I don't know how, I can remember part of Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't believe it. And what was happening was he thought a few times um, he was in thick weed. So what I done, I forced to tip the rod into the river. No. And, uh, kept the... And then he started to start then. So what I was doing, I was just like gaining an inch at with him. So he was yeah. quite comfortable under the weed. But he was still... he come out of the water again. And as he come past me, he start, I could see him gulp. I thought, oh, I, I might have a chance here. And he done it again. I chased him down river and I managed to net him. And as soon as it was in the net, I was like, oh, no. I was like, this is my... <laughs> <laughs> and if, 
in the international. Uh, I uh, I looked up to the fish gods that day. <laughs> amazing. Uh, I remember every second of it. To be honest, <laughs> and the, the memory makes it better because um, uh, many people may know uh, Paul Jenkins, Bushy, like Bushy, uh, our manager of the team, sadly passed away last year, and uh, it was his last international with us. And we were walking the beat the day before, and uh, in a competition, you don't want to look at them big fish because they earn so much time. No, uh, probably end up. I mean, stupid tomorrow. And he said, "You don't want to." And I said. <laughs> well, we'll be taking one trip home. <laughs> so that's a memory go. Um, and uh, for a very dear friend and rest in Bush. It's a <laughs> special time. But, uh, oh, sorry, guys. I went off tra track a bit then. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, what I. I <coughs> Keeps freezing, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll send them. The patterns, yeah, all patterns I use very regular, you know, and that they work. They simple, and you can see many of them in uh, just um, like they guys up to across all right. Simple flies catch fish, though, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You um, like more catching eye, and it's from the part the thread is. And I, I'm a big believer in scruffy flies catch fish. You know, I, you get. I love people's tied out beautiful, but it never, if never, and anything. It, I love, I love a beautiful tied fly. And stuck again. That's come up with mine is Terry's network bandwidth is too low. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying on mine as well. Yeah. Maybe maybe if he tries uh, going out and then coming back in, it might readjust. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of sticking going on now. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll, I'll stop the recording there. Yeah. It's, my signal is full. Uh, for some reason, it just keeps on dropping out. It's all right now.